I got a challenge from one of my clients yesterday. We spent over an hour trying to figure out if there was a way we could configure fluid boxes to shrink or hide or be optional under certain circumstances. Uh, the idea being that we wanted to have the desktop view look something like this here, but instead of showing the background and the smartphone for users who were taking this course on their smartphone, we just wanted to show what was inside this smartphone right here. And so we were trying different uh, fluid box scenarios and to no avail. Eventually I thought if only there was a way that I could show two different versions of this slide depending on the device type that the user was using. And then suddenly in my head, I realized that, you know what, there's a system variable that keeps track of the OS that the user is using. So let me show you that. That's actually a system variable and it's available from your variables window. You can select system from the drop down here and scroll down. What we're looking for is CP info mobile OS. I've never had an occasion to use it, but this is the first time that it made sense to implement this. So the idea is that if the value of the system variable is zero, the end user is taking your e-learning course on a desktop computer. If it's one, it's iOS. If it's two, Android. And of course, any other value would be other OSs like Blackberry or Symbian or so on. Um, I wasn't going to worry too much of those because I really just wanted to determine whether it was desktop or not. So what I did is I created two versions of the slide that my client needed. This is the desktop view because it's suggesting that we want you to use your smartphone to log in on this particular application. But if they're taking the course on their smartphone, we don't want to show a picture of a smartphone while they're holding their smartphone. It seemed redundant. So instead we created a version of the slide like this that would fill the screen with the black background and give them a large text entry box and allow them to do that. But again, how do we get them to choose one or the other automatically? So on the slide just before, I have a next button. And the slide just after these two slides, I have a back button. And presumably there would be other slides for the rest of this project as well. But the advanced action is the same for both. When you click on this next button or the back button from this page, you're going to run an advanced action. And that advanced action checks for that system variable. Let me show it to you here. This is called check if mobile. So it's a conditional action and it asks if CP info mobile OS, that's our system variable, is equal to zero, in other words, it's a desktop computer, then jump to slide two. That's the version of the slide that shows the picture of the phone. Anything else, it's going to jump to slide three and simulate what that's going to be like on an actual smartphone. And that's it. It's a real simple solution to the problem. And again, we're just making sure that if users go back from the previous, back to the previous page, they're going to run through that same advanced action as before so that it checks to see if it's a mobile device or a desktop device and then points to the appropriate slide. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.